years ago I used to live way down there in fact you can see that pier that's the Imperial Beach Pier so I used to live uh, just a little bit north of that pier that's way down there and I'm gonna see if I can zoom in there it is grab your pack and your radio it's time to go hiking and hammock so as I'm prepping for this trip where I'm gonna have an opportunity to do some uh, additional POTA activations I thought Let's try something else. What can we do with a rental car? Now, I already had this mag mount with the uh, SO239 connector on it, and I thought, hmm, well, there's gotta be a way that I can utilize that. So I thought about it, and I ran out to HR, uh, so I ran out to Giga Parts, and I got, whoop, these guys. To take with me. The fun part is going to be finding out how many of those antennas I can fit in a suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> what I have discovered though is I had a minor problem and that the 40 meter stick, this one right here, will not fit in my suitcase. We got the big haul, 34. So the problem here is, is this too big for the airline? Do I get hit with a $200 fee for it being slightly oversized? So here we go again. Question is, is will this fit? So that's kind of a problem there. I think it would almost fit diagonally across the top, except the opening itself isn't big enough. My next problem was how to connect these antennas to the SO239 base. So originally, I was looking at utilizing this stud along with an adapter. But I really didn't like how that would probably be from a stability standpoint. So I ordered one of these. So there's an indentation here. So evidently what I got to do is There we go. So that, I think, solves my problem better than the uh, hodgepodge that I had going. So we'll uh, utilize this stuff. We're gonna throw uh, the three of the four sticks into the luggage. And uh, that's gonna fly off with me. And we'll see how it works on a POTA activation. Okay, so I've been fighting with this thing, trying to get uh, it just kind of in the ballpark. So you can see where I am right there. Uh, I'm just manually adjusting here. We're gonna slap it up on the roof and see what happens. Uh, you know, I, th I think that's doable. We're not trying to get perfect here. We're just trying to get usable. So we're gonna finish with that one. That's the 20 meter hamstick. Okay, so we've got the 17 kind of down to about 2.1. I will take it for right now. That's usable. Okay, so this is Acadia State Beach. But uh, this is the beach access, and I'm not sure how the surfers are getting down. But uh, you can see that this is all closed off. No real good way to get down to the beach to do an activation, but. Uh, Nice day out here.
So I don't know how I'm gonna activate this one just because of the uh, lack of area for, uh, for a wire antenna. So also I'm kind of concerned by the fact that I've got these cliffs in front of me and then over here behind me, I've got ocean. So I don't know how well I'm gonna propagate <clears throat> using just a small mast to, uh, to get that up there. So we're gonna head down the coast to another beach. Okay, so I'm going to try to activate out of the car using the mag mounts because it looks like the parking lot here falls within the, uh, the boundaries of the state beach. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Okay, so I'm getting set up and I noticed this massive 40 over signal. Park to park. Park to park, go ahead. Uh, Roger, you're not going to believe this. This is Kilo 4 Hotel November Hotel, Park Kilo 3479. Yeah, the call again, Kilo 4 Hotel November Hotel. Uh, roger, roger. Yeah, I'm uh, out here for work and thought I'd do some activations while I had some downtime. Now, uh, Roger, I'm right up on the cliff above you. I was walking around uh, looking for places to activate down there, but uh, uh, the gear I have with, with me wasn't real conducive to operating down there, but uh, I'll wander down there in just a minute and say hi to you. Oh, you bet. Yeah, you bet. Seven, uh, seven, three, yep, uh, K4H&H, clear. Thanks again. Uh, so uh, I'm going to walk down here and uh, see this guy. Okay, so we got the Wolf River coil going. The Chen's LifePo 20 app. And something you don't see very often. The Alenco DX SR8. Kilo 6, Romeo, Delta, Limo, uh, Lima, QSL. So he is getting his activation. What's up? If you go back there again, I want to get it. So I'm struggling with the antenna here. Uh, it's like a bad coax connection, but uh, we'll we'll make it through. And uh, just need four more uh, QSOs. This is Kilo Four Hotel November Hotel. Apart Kilo Three Four Seven Nine calling CQ CQ parks on the air. Whiskey Yankee 7, Japan Radio. I've got you 5555 in the park, Kilo 3479. Roger, hey, thank you for Wyoming. Uh, appreciate you hunting today, 7-3. This is Kilo 4, Hotel, November Hotel at Park Kilo 3479, calling CQ Parks on the air and listening. Kilo India 5, Golf Tango Romeo. Got you about a 5757 into the park, QSL. QSL, good afternoon, Lou. Bye bye. 55 Central Arkansas, Roger. Uh, Kilo 5, Victor Juliet Yankee, 5 and 9. Kilo Alpha, 5 and 9, good signal. Oh, Roger, thank you. Yeah, you're the best signal I've had so far, apart from the guy that was uh, activating inside the park here with me. So, uh, Hey, thanks for hunting and thanks for New Mexico. Uh, that's my first New Mexico today. 7-3. Seven, three. Seven, three. This is K4H&H at Park Kilo 3479 QRZ. Uh, is that Whiskey 3 Papa Alpha Kilo? Kilo 
Yeah, Roger, I'm going to give you a 5-5 right back, and uh, I think you're the first Washington State I've had. I had some, some Oregons, but uh, you're the first Washington State I've had today. I appreciate you hunting, and uh, thanks, uh, 73. Okay, so that's got uh, Kilo, what is it, 3479 Moonlight State Beach, California, is in the books. Uh, just finished up with a park-to-park -park contact with uh, Indiana. And uh, we're going to get out of here. And then very special, uh, hopefully, POTA activation coming up tomorrow. Special guest with me. Well, maybe I'm the special guest. I don't know because it's his home turf. But anyway, uh, we are out for today. 7-3.